All right, so um, when setting up target controls, um, everything say, stays the same with smart bone workflows. So your horizontal and rotation control bones are going to control your smart bones. So what we're going to do is start with a vertical bone, vertical rotation bone, and it's going to control the look up and down smart bone. So I'm going to put the name of that smart bone in and rotation. It's going to be off to the right, off to the side, and I have it fairly far out, and that way I can keep the area in a reasonably small area space in a reasonably small space around her face. And see now I'm adding keyframes for her look and notice how I aim the smart bone by scrubbing to be at the top of the work area and right there at the bottom of the work area. If you move your rotation bone too close the work area becomes huge so you want to keep it out. Here I'm making the horizontal or the head turn rotation bone and it is a regular smart bone with two actions and again I'm aiming the smart bone by scrubbing it and that's where I'll put my keyframes and I'm doing that to keep the workspace small around her head. Again I aim it where I want to keep the workspace and then I rotate the smartphone. Now I'm creating the target bone. You must remove the parenting and also the bone strength. And I made the target bone at the end on purpose. And I also put it at the center of the workspace. And notice how I have a problem right here and that's because when I selected both bones to initiate the target bone it reset my vertical bones degrees so all I have to do is put them back to where they were and it's fine and now we have a fully functioning targeted head turn.